Welcome to the Climb May Realty Showcase. I'm Gwendolyn with the Augusta office. If you see a home that you're interested in, please give one of our offices a call. Thank you to our sponsors and please enjoy the show. Hey everyone, my name is Derek Shadori. I'm with Klein May Realty. And I'm Veronica Amato with FNA Mortgage. Join us for our first time home buyer seminar. We do it the first Friday of every month from 5.30 to 7.30 at the Klein May Harrisonburg location. 
Don't forget to RSVP. And we will cover the basics of first-time home buying from the real estate point of view and the mortgage process. We hope to see you there. Hi, I'm Carl Weisecker, Principal Broker at Klein May Realty. Thank you for joining me again for Q&A with Klein May. Our question for today comes up quite often, and that is, why haven't interest rates dropped, mortgage interest rates specifically? About a month ago, six weeks ago, the Federal Reserve announced a huge rate cut, and even though that's not directly tied to mortgage rates, a lot of folks expected that rates would drop, which they did. Uh, the mortgage lenders were a little bit ahead of that. They knew it was coming, so they were starting to build that anticipated decrease into their rates. Rates dropped and are still quite a bit lower than they were, say, a year ago. But then they stopped dropping and they started going back up again. And folks are asking us why that is. And I think the biggest thing that's important to understand is that mortgage interest rates are not specifically tied to the federal funds rate. They are much more closely linked to the bond market. When mortgages are sold, the banks bundle all of that debt up and sell it as a financial instrument so they can get some more money to make some more loans. And those mortgage bonds are in the same financial market as treasury bonds. So the best way to know what's going to happen with mortgage rates is to follow the 10-year treasury bond. That dropped for a while and is now going up again, mainly because when there is stability or strength in the economy, investors tend to put their money into stocks. When there is some uncertainty, they tend to put their money into bonds because that's a bit safer. When folks put their money into bonds, that actually drives the rate down. That's not happening now. Our job reports have been great. Inflation is coming down and is almost at the Fed's target rate of 2%. And so investors are pushing money into the stock market, not into the bond market. And so those folks with bonds have to keep offering higher and higher rates of return to attract those investors. So mortgage rates are going up, ironically, because our economy is so strong. Most experts do predict that rates will drop and they will get below 6% at some point next year. 
I wouldn't expect anything close to the 25 or 3% numbers we have seen in the past. Most experts are saying they expect things to settle in around 55 probably not until the spring. The important thing to remember is if you want to see what's going to happen with mortgage rates in a week or two, see which direction the returns on the 10-year Treasury bond are going now. Today, we are at Magpie Diner, not only for the coffee, but for the delicious food. And I chose their chorizo bowl, which is absolutely out of this world. Potatoes, chorizo, some good veggies, and a perfectly cooked fried egg on top. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, I'd highly recommend you get down here and try one. If you've got a restaurant you'd like to see me try, or a real estate question for me, please send that to questions at kleinmay.com. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. It's an honor to meet you as well. You know, I'm glad we were able to sit down, talk about this beautiful restaurant. Uh, it's been in the community for quite a few years now. And I'll be bringing folks up to sit out, especially on a day like today. What a beautiful day to sit out here and do it, yes. so thank you. We have people that come in every day for lunch. We have a special, actually, that usually people get for lunch. Two slices of pizza, a topping and a drink and it's the go-to. And just to expand, because I believe this is a locally owned place, correct? Yes. Well, I personally know the owner here, Hugo, and I've seen how he's grown this business tremendously over the years. He's a really good boss. He has done a lot with the place. I love the work culture. I think he's a really big part of why people like coming here. It's very well managed, it's family friendly. The food is great, obviously. I actually had a question for you guys. What are the first three things that you have to identify when you meet with a client? When I meet with a client, the biggest thing I want to know from you are your goals, because that's going to affect how our process looks and what you want to get out of that move. Why do you want to move? Is it to downsize? Is it to upsize? Is it because you're growing a family? Do you want to buy your first investment? A lot of first-time home buyers, because a lot of people that have already bought a home or two understand, but you're asking as a first-time home buyer, you want to build wealth, you want to have a roof over your head and everything else. And the optimum thing to do, for me, is to listen. If there are new people to the area, what would you like to say to them about Ciro's Pizza? 
if it's a potential new customer who just moved in that's in town and they don't know the area, I would say the first place that you would go and get New York style pizza that is delicious, the perfect amount of sauce, the perfect amount of cheese, be Ciro's Lasagna House. Well, on my end, I got to say thank you to you for hosting us. And thank you, Derek, for having me come up. I'll bring clients up here because it's a nice atmosphere. Thank you, guys. It's been a great afternoon. Thank, thank you, guys, you for, for coming. coming. Thank you for having us. We all want to give our kids the best of everything, the best nutrition, the best education, and the best place to grow up even the air they breathe. Lennox strives to provide the best air quality for your family's home free of indoor air pollutants. At Landis Heating and Air Conditioning, they can install a Lennox customized comfort system in your home. Let Landis sweat the details so you can relax in comfort. Call my friends at Landis Heating and Air Conditioning today. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. I'm Susan Melendez. I'm a realtor with Klein May, and I'm really happy that you came out today to check out what we do here in Fort Cyber, West Virginia, during the Treasure Mountain Festival, historical reenactment of the attack on Fort Cyber, which happened April 17, 1758. This is only part of the Treasure Mountain Festival. Another big piece of the Treasure Mountain Festival takes place in Franklin, West Virginia. There's a parade. There's lots of awesome vendors and lots of great food. This weekend, we have a lot of folks here set up in their primitive homes, and it's living history at its best. There was actually a fort built just down the hill from where we're standing, and the captain of the fort was Captain Seibert. It was a stronghold trying to hold this land on behalf of the English. Both sides had Native American allies. Kilbuck was a very well-known and prolific war chief. He led a band of Shawnee and Delaware Indians through this valley. They started with Fort Upper Track, which is kind of behind me, and then the next day came over and surrounded Fort Seibert. 
They ended up capturing almost everybody in the fort. A few escaped. Every year, we come together to celebrate the history and the heritage of this area. Descendants of the settlers who were in the fort are here. A lot of times we actually have descendants of Kilbuck that come. It's really awesome that so many people are committed to keeping this alive for future generations. For me, as a community member and someone who grew up right here on this land, this is my home and these are my people. And in my role as a realtor, it gives me much pleasure to help the people I'm most connected with. When you come into Climb Me, there's a mandatory training and they pull out these big books and they walk you through each one of, of it, starting with how to do CMAs, you know, comparative market analysis. That's very tricky. Market is always changing, so how do we follow that? How to market ourselves? We're always taught something new. What we know is enough to see the deals through successfully. Well, hey, Veronica, I'm glad we were able to get together to continue on with our second uh, first time homebuyer seminar. Yes, thank you, Derek, for inviting me. It's always very nice to speak to first time homebuyers and be able to explain to them the first steps to home ownership. My main goal is for people to understand that the first step to home ownership is to apply for the mortgage loan. My goal for this class is to be able to kill as many myths as possible that stop people from becoming first-time home buyers. What are the main points that you will touch for first-time home buyers? One of the big main points that I like to talk about is the why. It's important though for the individual to recognize their goal and why they want to attain that goal. Secondly, it's being able to go through a lot of the myths that stop people from starting. I think everybody that is thinking about buying a house should definitely attend these classes to understand the process and to have a clear picture of what to expect during the process. I think understanding that it takes a teamwork between the lending side of things and the real estate side of things is very important for the first time home buyer, knowing that they have the professionals to guide them through the process is very important. 
I definitely look forward for the next one. I hope people find them very beneficial, informational, and helps them achieve their goals. Hopefully you attend our class. Do not forget to RSVP, and we'll see you there. What if you could take advantage of lower mortgage rates without refinancing? With DuPont Community Credit Union's new Rate Drop Mortgage, you can. DCCU's Rate Drop Mortgage lets you lower your rate every 12 months if rates drop. Just pay a processing fee per rate adjustment. No refinancing or new closing costs required. Enjoy flexible home financing with DCCU's Rate Drop Mortgage. Visit mydccu.com or talk to a mortgage advisor today to get started. No, I don't want to be on a reality show. Okay. Welcome to the Klein May Reality Showcase. Reality. Realty. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks again to our sponsors, and we'll see you next week.